All right, what's up, gang? So for this video, we're gonna be talking about Murda Beats. He just released a brand new pack on Splice called Bandemic, and it's unbelievable. There's tons of samples, loops, subs, drum kits, all that kind of stuff, and it just sounds super cool. For those of you that don't know anything about Murder Beats, let me give you a quick like 30 second history. So when he was 17 years old, he started producing. Prior to that, he was actually a drummer and I believe he grew up in a pretty musical household. I think his parents have something to do with music, so he's kind of been around music his whole entire life. When he was 17, he started producing on Fruity Loop Studios, FL Studios, and I believe that's still what he uses to this date because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why change to a new program if you already kind of mastered the one you're on? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what kind of program you have, you just gotta know how to how to use it. That's all, that's all that matters. So after he started to produce, he eventually moved to Chicago, I think maybe a year or two later, around 18 or 19 of age. And he started uh, working with some local rappers here down towards the south side, something like that, which led him to a couple of, you know, smaller placements, blah, blah, blah. Eventually, he got tied up with the Migos, and from there it was just, it's history, you know, and then, now we have the Murder Beats sample pack. This is actually the second one he's released. The first one was called the Quarantine Pack or something like that. That one's really good too. This one is also really good. Today, all we're gonna do is just make a quick beat using some of his uh, loops, his drum sounds, and just kind of see how everything ties together and the quality of everything. And then at the end, I'll give it a quick review and see if you need to spend your precious splice credits on this pack. So I already did the boring part. I searched through like 40 samples. Well, I guess that's kind of the fun part in some ways. But I found a sample, it's in B minor, tempo is 169, and it's called Yahtzee. So if you like this one and you want to make a beat with it after the video, this is where it's at. So here's what it sounds like. It's super chill, which is actually not what I expected. I thought it was going to be a lot more like Rager, and obviously there are some Rager loops that he has, but this one is specifically pretty chill, which is great. Just real quick, as you can see, endless loops, endless loops, endless drum sounds, one shots, uh, hi-hat patterns and loops, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I've already pre-picked some of the 808s and the drums, so we don't have to waste time. I'm just gonna make a quick beat and let's see how it all sounds. So I'm just gonna loop this for a second, kind of play around. <laughs> those of you that are maybe wondering like why did I play that part like that well the first most important thing I want to listen for is I want to make sure my bass and snare drum are kind of going along with the melody and the melody is like dun, dun, dun. right so my bass drum is kind of going a little bit along with the lines with that it's like see how it's kind of helping like where the accents of the melody line up so that's usually a great rule of thumb to follow. Uh, just help the melody out. That's, you know, that's what's important for some of these things. And then I'm just gonna do a pretty simple hi-hat. Eight away here. Let's turn this up just a bit. Don't need to overthink it. Quick quantize. sounds are so clean like I haven't even done any editing at all or mixing or anything and they all like they sound great I mean I can't imagine what they sound like after mixing so then we're gonna add a little goofy space melody let's go If you notice, I actually don't quantize my melodies usually because that's the one part of the song that can be a little more flowy. Like I always quantize drums and 808 because I want those to smack together all the time. But when it comes to melody, 
it can be a little more free flowing if you're adding your own on top of something else. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. I think this pack is amazing. Five out of five, obviously. I mean, the sounds are super clean. They already blend really well. And look, I'm not lying, no joke. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything to this. There's no, no EQ, no mixing, no nothing. That's it. And they're already sounding like this good. So I think if you want to spend your precious tokens on Splice for this drum pack, that's definitely going to be worth worth the coins and you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. I know I definitely did. And as always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button. It really helps me out. And if you don't want to watch the whole video now, that's all right. Just turn it on while you're making some breakfast. Let it, let it play through because that really helps me out at the end of the day. You know, show it to your friends. I love you guys, everybody that's watching. You guys are all amazing and uh, see you next time.